All right, welcome to All I Must TV. My name is Jix Anemo, and here we learn mathematics every day. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge. It says root x plus 5 equal to 5 minus root x. What is the value of x? As you can see, this is a radical equation. So how do we handle this? Let's go into the board and say, all right, so you have your solution. We take our solution. All right. We bring down our equation, which says root x plus 5 equal to of 5 minus root x. Now, this is a radical. This is a radical. So the number one thing we do here is to collect the radical to one side. So let's take all the radical to the left-hand side. And so this will now give us, now let's put it down in writing. So have here, collect radicals. So if we collect our radicals, we're going to have here your root x plus 5. Here we have a minus sign. It turns to plus root x equal to Five. All right. From here, let's square both sides. So I say here, square both sides. Both sides. So if we square both sides, we're going to have this to be the square root of x plus five plus root x r squared equal to your five squared. Okay, right. Now, if we simplify this, this is simply an x. We have a, let's bring this out, root x plus 5 plus root x, bracket root x plus 5 plus root x, okay, equal to our 5 squared. Okay. Now let's open this brackets. We use this first term to open everything in the second bracket. We use the second term to open everything in the second bracket. So let's check our arrow movement. So the whole of this, we go into this, and the whole of this at the same time will still go into this. Yeah, this we go into this, and at the same time, this we call it going to this. So if we go by the arrow movement here, then let's see what this gives us. So we have root x plus 5 into root x plus 5. We are going to have here bracket root x plus 5 close bracket into root x plus 5 or bracket close. Then we use this x again to multiply this. This will now give us plus bracket root x plus 5. Okay, then times, let's put it here, dot root x, close bracket. Okay, so we are done using this term to open up this bracket. So let's go to this term now to open up this same bracket. So this will now give us here plus... Let's bring out our major plus here, root x times root x plus 5 will give us here, root x into, let's put this in bracket, into root x plus 5. Okay, close bracket. Then root x times root x will give us plus root x dot root x. Everything equal to 5 square all right so let's continue on this other side here so let's proceed from here okay so yeah what we have in here is same thing we have in here and here we have a square root we have a square root so this expression can also be written as root bracket x plus five r squared okay for this plus 
Now, if you look carefully, we are having root x plus 5 dot x and root x into root x plus 5. So, dx and dx are the same. So, 6, they are the same. Then, we can write this as plus 2 because they are 2. 1 and 2. So, plus 2 into, we have here x as root x, which is for dx, there, bracket, bracket, also root x plus 5, close bracket, or into a square bracket. Okay, then we come to this other side. Here we have root x, root x will automatically give us plus x squared root x. Everything equal to 25. Then, if you look at this, this we go with this, and this we go with this. So we are now left with your x plus 5 plus. Yeah, we can use this to open this to give us here 2 into root x bracket x plus 5 close bracket. Okay plus x equal to 25. Okay, we are almost there. Then what we do next? Yeah, we collect all our light terms to this other side. So if we do this, we are going to have here 2 into root x into x plus 5 plus bracket equal to our 25 your 5 will go to this side to give you minus 5. Then uh, x to this other side will give us minus x. This other x minus x. So we have 2 root x into x plus 5 close bracket equal to. Here we're left with 20 minus s minus s will give us minus 2x. Okay. Here we are having 2. 2 can go into this, 2 can go into this, 2 can go into this. So from here, we divide through by 2. So we'll say divide through by 2. If we divide through by 2, we are going to have here to be 2 root x into x plus 5 close bracket equal to 20 all over 2 minus 2x all over 2. And so... Oops. Or dx all over 2. Okay, so this we go with dx. This we give us 10. 2 year 1, 2 year 1. And so our equation we turn give us root x into x plus 5 close bracket equal to 10 minus x. Very easy. But before we continue again, if you are new to this channel, can you subscribe? Turn on the bell notification after you subscribe so that you get notified whenever we drop new videos. Okay, so let's go back to our bird. So from here, look at this. We square both sides to eliminate this square root sign. So we say here square, square both sides, both sides of the equation. If we do that, we're going to have here the square x plus 5 all squared equal to 10 minus x r squared. And as you know, this square root will take care of this squared. Okay? So, we can go ahead and open this. So, when we open this, where is it going to give us? So, let's move it again from here. Let's see what this gives us. So, yeah, on the left-hand side, we now have x bracket x plus 5 equal to if we go ahead to open this, we're going to have here 100 minus 20x, the plus x squared. Ah, right. Then from here, this we can use to open this. So if we open this, we're going to have here x squared plus 5x equal to 100 minus 20 x plus x squared. So if we collect our light terms, we will discover that this x squared will eliminate this x squared. Okay, so this 
and dx will leave the system. So we are now um, left with 5x and this. So we collect our lightness. This will now give us um, 5x plus 20x equal to 100. So we have 25x equal to 100. Go ahead and divide by 25. So if we divide by 25, divide this by 25, automatically this 25 will take care of itself. 25 year 1, 5 year 4. So we then have our x. So therefore, our x is equal to 4. All right. So let's go ahead and check if our uh, answer is correct. So let's check. So we have your check. Our equation says root x plus 5 equals to 5 minus root x. We said our x is 4. So we have this to be root 4 plus 5 equal to 5 minus root 4. 4 plus 5 will give us root 9, which is equals to 5 minus root 4 is 2. And root 9 will give us 3 equal to 5 minus 2 will give us 3. So that confirms um, that the radical equation is correct. Okay. So this is all I have for you for today. And if you have learned something good from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Okay. And also, you have a better method of solving this radical equation. Also, drop it in the comment section below. Then, do not forget to share with family and friends. Okay, members of your um, crew that need this knowledge. Okay, so that they can equally learn these wonderful um, tricks to mathematics. Thanks for always be there. Remember, I Jigs love you so much, and all of us at Online Math TV love you. Bye for now.